Listen up, people. You know me. When Spirit gives me the messages, it's time to deliver it. Doesn't matter when, where, or how. What time of day or not. As you can tell, I'm in my car and I've pulled over and it's nighttime. So this is automatically saying, for some of you, this is what you're not doing. Okay? Because Spirit is directing me in aggressive energy. Very aggressively, it needs to be brought out. So many of you need to realize and understand you were given a voice and a divine right to express it. You have a divine right to speak your mind. <laughs> now, that does not always mean that you're, what you're speaking is right, but you'll sure as hell never know if what you're speaking is the truth of what's truly right or not, or just your truth at the moment, if you don't have the courage to speak it. It's that simple. You were given a divine right to use that voice box. And let me remind you, there are all too many people out there who are using their divine right to use it in very wrong ways and push you around and try to tell you what you have to do and how you should live. Or try to get you to do their job for them. To be responsible and take on their responsibilities because they don't want to. And if you're not smart enough to use your own divine power and your voice to say, No, no the fuck, this is not going to happen. Here's the line and you're going to stay on your side of it. Then my darling, you will get pushed around. And it happens to all too many of us. But that's because right now we are being told. It's time to speak. It's time to speak your mind. It's time to speak your truth. But you don't have to do it aggressively in a negative way. You can be positive and state, hey, yo, here's the line. And, um, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. And still do it in loving ways. You have to be responsible for your own life and what you choose to digest within your life. And I use that word that way on purpose because that's a shamanic term that I was learned or I was taught. I was learned. <laughs> that was a shamanic term that I was taught when I was going through my shamanic schooling, so to speak. We use the word digestion because sometimes... It's just like the food you eat. It takes time for it to sink in and to actually digest. It's like food. Sometimes you eat something and you can't tell that it's not good anymore. Or that it's going bad. And sometimes you can taste it. Oops. Sometimes you can taste it just as soon as you start to eat it. But sometimes it gets past you and you don't realize it. And you get that food poisoning. Because you ate something that was toxic. Same idea. The people, the places. The people, places, and thing, The environment that you keep. The friends you choose. The lifestyle you live is what you are digesting. Are you digesting something that helps you be healthy and vibrant and grow? Or are you digesting toxic energies and other people's responsibilities that are just pushing you further and further away from what you truly want? Sometimes it has to do with speaking your mind and saying, Hey, no, guess what? That is your responsibility. That is your job, and I will not be stuck doing your job for you because you don't want to do it, and you're irresponsible. Guess what? This is the time in this energy where people are being told by spirit, by people, by everywhere. If you screwed up, go to the back of the line. Go to the fucking back of the line and start the fuck over because you didn't learn your lesson. So, are you going to the back of the line because you chose not to stand up for yourself and use your voice to make sure that what you need in life is being met? And that you're not being held responsible for other people's actions or responsibilities or duties 
It's one thing to be a caregiver. A caregiver is a very difficult job. Whether you're a single parent, whether you're a parent or parents, or you're taking care of the elderly, or sick people and you're a caregiver, you know, working for hospice or something. It is a very difficult job to be a caregiver because your heart bleeds for the people that you love. And that's part of your job. But you also need to know when it's gotten toxic and you need to step away and heal yourself. Versus relationships that are just bad. If somebody is hurting you, hitting you, degrading you, taking advantage of you, that's not the same kind of relationship. Whether it's a relationship with a loved one, a spouse, or a working environment. It's the same thing. What are you digesting? Are you intelligent enough to realize what you are digesting and are you doing it for the right reasons? Because if you're a caregiver who's doing something to help somebody who's thankful because they need your help, unless it's children, because children cannot understand that yet. That's a different thing. You are learning, you are helping, you are learning yourself how to widen and strengthen what unconditional love is versus being taken advantage of, abused, and in a toxic relationship. You need to come to understand the people, the places, the things in your life, the digestion that is in your life, and are you having it there for the right or wrong reasons? And within that very understanding, are you using your voice? Because I promise you, there are people all over this world that are using their voice for the wrong things. And they'll push you around and take advantage of you if you are not using your voice to stand up for yourself and say, go to the fucking back of the line. You did not learn your lesson. You will go back to the back of the line. You will sit there and you'll start all over. Go sit in the timeout chair. Too bad. Because that's what this energy is trying to teach you. Rules, walls, boundaries. You have Saturn that is getting ready to go direct. Been asking you what the hell is important to you on a sacred level for your own sacred space. Sitting there with the South Node and sitting there with um, Pluto. Pluto will go direct in a month. And Pluto isn't going to lighten up until he goes direct. Because Pluto is the only planet that doesn't turn inward because it's always in an inward energy. It's just in overdrive right now. And he's going, what the fuck are you not listening to that needs to die so that I can help you get right? And in Capricorn, it's all about setting the new foundation. The, the, you know, the new foundation to grow yourself on an outer community within this world. And a healthy new boundary. Use your voice, my love. Because if you don't, you're not taking any action. You're just sitting there thinking about it. While the rest of the world is actually taking action about it. I love you guys. Bye.